just remember these two words. Crimson Light. Once generous and cheerful to everyone, an angel named Lucifer earned God's wrath and was thrown away from heaven. Having lost a place to return to, Lucifer changed his name to Satan and strayed into hell. And there, he became the devil. What are you trying? What is your plan? What are you talking about? Stop, we're friends. We are! Watch out. I just might be your worst night. It's tough getting rid of all the scum in the street. They're like rats in a sewer. Yeah, but in this recession, there's just gonna be more and more of them. I hope not. Hello, this is Crawford. I need you to head to the crime scene. There's a body found near 7th Street. It's probably a homicide. Right away, Chief. Thomas, let's go. Okay. Hey, Inspector. Hey. We have a mess upstairs. Inspector, <clears throat> we've been waiting for you. Here are 24 year old Robert Schneider and 23 year old Emma Schneider. They happen to be part of a Yakuza group known as the Oyamas. Sounds familiar. The Oyamas have been active in the city for five years now. There's been reports that another member from the group named Jose Lopez was found dead in a different site in LA. Also, a member from the rival clan, the Kanzakis, was killed in another site. What they had in common? with these marks, as well as that card. Three people were murdered with this same mark and with this card attached to them? If this, if this is a race, then this must be the starting lane. But it's whatever happens at the finish line that scares me. Mr. Brown, get more information on the Oyama group Jerry, get autopsy samples from the examiner's office. Thomas, you'll come with me. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just thought it was... Never mind. Let's go. Hmm. 
judgment. <laughs> it's amazing how these cases are connected so fluently. How so? Uh, well, these cases, they match up so well. Wait, why are you here? Love, that is why I'm here. The red, unbreakable thread of steel that binds our souls together down a path of inevitability towards matrimony and many babies. Okay, there is no way. Please do not tell me you are on this case with me. Well, of course, we're fated to be together. Clearly you see that now. What is someone from San Fran doing here anyways? Oh, oh wait, that's right. You were reassigned here because they didn't need you up there. No, no, no. Think about it. What's the only possible explanation I could be down here? Wait, you're promoted? Now you don't mean police sergeant, do you? Of course I do. I worked my way up. And now we're equals, so that means I'll be talking to you casually from this point forward. When did you ever start talking to me politely? Just shut up. Crawford, you can sit there. Sit over there. What can you do that? You already did. All right, guys, button it. Matthews! Hey, take your seats. Uh, see, uh, uh, yes, late last night, there was a body found in an apartment in 7th Street. Uh, based on the canvas and fingerprints, we matched the identification. That's 24-year-old Robert Schneider. Um, he resides in 707 7th Street, and from what we know so far, he's part of the o Oyama gang. We've been searching for this clan for about 10 years, and apparently they still exist in North Hollywood. Yes. This is a murder case. Instead of pointing out the history of the clan, please just tell us the points of the three cases. Well, it was also reported that within 30 minutes of the incident, there are two bodies found uh, with the four, with the similar Ford mark card and the uh, tour card judgment. Uh, however, all three of these victims happen to be part of the Oyama clan and its rivals, the Kanzaki clans. So, the higher officials of the Metropolis PD would like to conclude that it's just a gang war. Wait, but there are three victims with clues. How can you conclude that it's just a gang war? Do you have evidence to prove otherwise? Why are you even questioning your superiors? Don't you think they would know what's best for this investigation? <laughs> that is the point, isn't it? To look further into the case. We must understand the victim's background information as well as their affiliations and connections with others. Uh, Speculating that it's just a gang war in a murder investigation, it's informal and unbelievable. This is a serial murder case. I can't believe you guys are concluding this as a clan war. This is just my hunch, but I just received an anonymous package telling me that Cruz Catalyde is the primary suspect. <laughs> Missy, I never want you to use that name again in this investigation. Do you hear me? I don't give a damn what your hunch is or what some mystery package you brought in was. I want you to follow the evidence. And if I ever hear you using that name again, I'll have your ass work in traffic by the end of the week. Crawford, Larson, with me. Sit down. Who is Cruz Catalan? Cruz Catalan is ancient history. Is he a police officer that committed a crime? Crawford, remember your place. You're here because of me. If I catch you investigating, you know what'll happen to you. Now get out, both of you. Cruz. 
Commissioner Wada. It's John Fowler. They know about Cruz Catalan. Crawford, listen to the chief. We'll investigate when we need. This is just not right. Not right at all. Hey, what, what happened over there? Fowler told me he didn't want me to investigate the case any further. It's, it's like everything's being concealed. Yeah, and it's, it's unbelievable. Well, um, what are you gonna do now? I'm going after Cruz Catalan. Crawford. You didn't even listen to anything I said. It's an order from, from the higher officials. Yeah, but detectives don't conceal cases. And it's a cop's intuition. Whatever, you don't understand. I'm going. Wait. Just know that our, your subordinates will be here with you. So I read on the internet that our police department is a cult. That's not possible. I don't know, I've been contemplating the idea. Dude, you're in the force. What are you talking about? Just think about it. Nobody's telling anyone anything. It's like everything's just one big secret. Nobody's down and chilling with the flow. We're puppets, man. Oh, Kermit the Frog doesn't get to carry around one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. We completed your assigned task, sir. Ugh. Tough. Fred. We are! We have to keep low on this part of the case, so I will pursue him on my own. But sir, when the Kentucky plan be after you? I'll be fine. Hey, Sato! Hey, where, where is Aki? Uh, she went after the case. Are we not supposed to be investigating that case any longer? Now that means that I'm with you? Yeah. <laughs> what is she after? Uh, that I didn't hear. Mm. Well, that's the case. Us being subordinates, we gotta give her our faith. Don't you think so, Thomas?
Good work today, fellas. Good work. Looks like Fallon wants to see her. Also, personnel increased. Ooh. That means Iron Gun Harvey's going to be coming. Right. <sighs> Gotta tell you one thing. What is it? Tell her don't go after Cruz Catalan. Going after him would just lead to a chain of bad misfortune. <sighs> so, that's Iron Gun, huh? Yeah, he's former CIA. Probably got a little information. You use every means to gather everyone report, but keeps all the information and credit to himself. Are you looking for Cruz Catalan? Oh, yes, are you too? Yeah, I'm Aki Crawford, LAMPD, Team 10. Oh, you're a police officer. Yeah, and you are? Uh, I'm Ian Makino, uh, I'm a real estate agent. Okay. Mr. Catalan contacted me because he wanted to sell his home, but he's been missing for a few days. I just flew in from San Francisco a few weeks ago. Missing? Yes, that's correct. Oh, that's strange. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, no one's probably home, so, uh, you want to go grab a cup of coffee or something? Sure. So, uh, what's up with Officer Jerry? What do you know about him? Wait, why do you want to know? Just curious. Well, how about this? I'll make a deal with you. I'll tell you about Jerry, but you'll have to tell me about Cruz. All right, that sounds fair. Deal. Well, Jerry, he's seen a lot of things in his past. He saw his private tutor get stabbed, and he's lived with a lot of regret and remorse. He couldn't prevent the crime, and he's lived with fear from testifying the crime. And you know what? That guy actually has a lot of character. He eventually became a cop. That is a lot of heart. Yeah. Well? Well what? Aren't you going to tell me about Cruz? No. <laughs> right. Uh, Cruz only posed as a real estate agent. Wait. So you know his real job? Yes, I do. His real job really had nothing to do with real estate. It was more of a black market job. A black market job? Yeah. Um, he was a fake real estate agent selling fake homes and timeshares to people. I mean, he was working with this guy named Fom for about five years, under the table, of course. I remember their biggest heist. They made millions off this fat cat who thought he was buying a house off the islands of North Carolina. Okay, North Carolina is southeast. There's no ocean anywhere near that. Exactly. Wait, what was his name again? Kobayashi. Didn't I tell you to stay off 
the Catalan case. And didn't I tell you something about keeping this cat on a leash? Crawford, keep your hands off of the Catalan case. You're all trying to conceal this all, aren't you? Just because of Commissioner Wada's mistake five years ago. You know what? Uh, she's not going to be your problem anymore. Give me your badge. Why? You're off active duty for the next month, pending investigation. This is absolutely not right. Not right at all. Inspector Brown. Inspector Thomas. Yeah. May I have a word with you two? Uh, sure. What the hell does she think she's doing? What happened? There was a gang, the Kazaki clan, occupying a nearby cafe in LA. A member from the Oyama clan, suspected to be its leader, was seen beating other members of the Kanzakis. When the cops arrived, he escaped, and with him was a woman. A woman? It's suspected to be our chief, Crawford. <coughs> okay, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, I'll cover it. Uh, I know where to go. Crawford. I'll need everyone's help. I know it might destroy your guys' careers, but please, help me. Are you seeking the truth as a detective? No matter what, we're with you, Chief. We got your back. Please, give us orders for the investigation. Let me show you what I got. Is that a video file? Yeah, and this will give us the biggest clue to the case, and also the truth to Cruz Catalan. Putting together the word is the hardest part. Oh God, forgive me. I, I killed Kim. The money was short. I, I have no choice. I wish you would understand. I know some of you uh, are after me. You dirty bastard. So, the video file of Kobayashi, the news article of his sister and his father dying, the black market with bomb, the crime scene with the four mark on the wall, and a gang member from the Uyama, and... I have to go! Wait, are you going to back in this place? I gotta do this. I'll go. You don't know what you get yourself into. Thomas, this is an order as a chief. I've been expecting you. Yes, indeed. You're under arrest. You're Cruz Catalan, aren't you? Inspector Crawford, I'm impressed, truly. Wait, Sato? What are you doing here? You were smart enough to realize that Cruz Catalan was the leader of the Oyama gang. But you were not smart enough to realize how close he was to you. I am Cruz Catalan. I thought you would have realized when I sent that package to you that it would have taken a police officer to send an unscreened package to another detective.
but why did you send me the tarot card? Yes, I am sorry about that. It is not you who has to atone for their past sins. Then why? <laughs> Detective Crawford, I thought you would be the only police officer to understand. But I do understand. It's just that humans always conjure up illusions. Sometimes they see crooked lines as straight and straight lines as crooked. What are you talking about? That you're wrong and that you're naive? What about human lives and what they're there for? No, you don't understand what it's like to see your little sister cut down in the streets by corrupt police officers. Will not go unpunished. But I have your family name trodden on. The police force have caused me much suffering. I cannot forgive them now. But what about you, though? You're the one who's making everyone else suffer. You're the one, you're seeing yourself as a straight line when you're actually crooked. You're looking at a crooked line. You have to be strong. Do not ever let the past stop you.
she slipped through death's grasp on angel had his revenge and took another in her place in inevitable fate of death Red Angel takes them in the night, streets dark and all is quiet. <laughs>